Hey loves, I was in pretty much in the middle of um, creating a spiritual bath for me and um, my wife and I thought it'd be cool to share it with you guys to let you know what I'm doing. Um, I definitely just need like a cleanse right now um, so I just wanted to kind of lighten things up. So in here, because this is for me and my girlfriends even though we're doing it separately, um, I like to put in things that address com like every issue <laughs> basically so there's some roses um in here there's rose hip hibiscus um this is some basil right here there's also some peppercorns as well i'm gonna give this a good mix in a minute but i'm also going to be adding um this crystal and i'm just going to set the intention for what it is i want so i can charge the herbs while they're um while i'm mixing them so i'm just gonna give um pray over it for a second I'm gonna put that in the middle like so okay and then I'm just gonna start adding the rest of my ingredients this is patchouli which is a really good grounding herb um, specifically for the root chakra and it's connected to Saturn with everything that Saturn is doing right now I really need some patchouli so I am gonna be adding that in there um, I'm going to be adding um, some juniper berries juniper berries are amazing um, for removing a lot of like negativity and stagnation um, and just breaking apart the energy. Okay. I'm gonna be adding some spearmint to this. Um, just super amazing to refresh the energy, especially now that we're in um, spring time. It's just, you want to reset that. You want to make sure that it's, that things are just not stagnant, not feeling stuck, not feeling um, heavy or anything like that. Um, this is um, Espanta Muerto, which is, a, it's a ghost chasing herb. Um, it helps remove negativity and also spirits that have been sent your way um, to, you know, harm you or, or just bothering or like maybe you picked up some spirits or something like that that are just like negative or not meant to be yours this is one of the ways i pretty much get rid of them um besides you know working with other angel michael and everybody else but i also work with a lot of earth energy so that's one of the ones i use i am also going to be using um lavender on here okay I like adding a good amount of lavender because you can never go wrong with lavender. Okay. And then lastly, um, this is mugwort. And it's just really amazing, especially for, uh, definitely for the crown chakra and for the upper chakras. And if you notice, I did add a good amount of root chakras in, in between, um, for cleansing of those so I, I like adding something that supports the t intuition and clarity where the lavender comes from comes in and um that's where um this comes in as well so I'm like my throat is a little bit dry I just drink some water um just like talking so much in a second so I'm gonna give it a good mix and I put my crystal in there Okay, just to charge up the herbs. I'm going to close it. This jar, if you're curious, I got at the Dollar Tree. Oh, a dollar. Hold on. This is kind of hard to do with one hand. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so it looks like this. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a shake just to blend everything together. Okay, and then I'm going to pray over the entire blend. So I'm basically activating every single herb um, to do what I needed to do 
Um, so I'm gonna, even though I set the intention in the crystal and that's just gonna magnify it, I'm going to um, activate every single herb. So in a second while I pray over it. So now that this is um, blessed and charged up, what I'm going to do after this is I'm going to be um, putting it in boiling water. I'm going to let it um, brew up for about, hmm, I want to say a good 20, 25 minutes. And then I'm going to add some um, Florida water to it. Um, I always usually add Florida water to my um, baths just to add that extra level that I need. So I'm going to be adding some Florida water to it and then um, just to magnify the cleansing. And I am going to be blessing it with um, a specific um, cologne, so a different um, cologne. Uh, I still haven't picked out which one I'm going to be using yet, but this is basically the foundation of it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is like one of the ones that you can kind of use for, it's like an all-purpose cleansing um, bath because all, all the different herbs uh, address different issues, whether that be love, peace, healing, um, protection, blockages, blockage removal. Um, uh, it Like even kind of, you know, repelling a work um cleansing your head cleansing your chakras this is a really good way to do it so um and just to kind of have these kind of herbs on hand uh, is a really good way to do it and it addresses multiple issues so it's a little multi-purpose uh like all-purpose um cleansing bath so i hope you enjoyed it i will see you guys in the next one and um thank you guys for watching